Welcome back to Solinux Crypto or welcome and in this video we'll talk about Chitties or the CHZ token or both basically because in this video I have uh, some, some sort of bad news to bring about Chitties at least in my opinion and at least something we have to explore and something that is valuable to take a look at um, but yeah so let's let's get right into it um, I cover Chitties quite a bit this is my um i think this week like i think last time i covered it was uh, was sunday I, I tried to cover it like two two times three times a week um but i i wanted to cover it today because i, I saw that we were dropping and i know that a lot of you hold chilies i also still do hold ch uh, chc uh, and i know a lot of you traded and i i saw that we were dropping and we're dropping quite hard uh, like more than the market and there is um, there's a good reason for that. Uh, Chili's was very inflated because of the World Cup going on, obviously. Uh, very bullish for it fundamentally. But then what usually happens with cryptos is that they start falling and start dropping once the event has actually happened. So in, in the case of the World Cup, it started and then Chili's uh, started to drop. Um, so you could argue that there's still a little, little bit of hype and a little bit of those lost token holders uh, moving out of the moving out of the Chili's uh, token now that the World Cup is, uh, is is moving on and on and I think that's the main reason and, and the case why we are still dropping um, now the thing why I am a little bit worried is because if you zoom out to the daily time frame what you can see is that in, in this bear market we have already in, in June for example we have been way lower with Chili's and we already started in, in July and August with some bullish momentum for the World Cup um, and what you can see is that we are actually you could still consider that we are inflated in value um, because we were way lower i mean I, I think chilies is a great project also for the long term but you could argue something like that um, and you can see that yeah sure 14 cents 16 cents which is the level we're in right now is a is a strong level historically but it's it's definitely not the strongest um so what i'm afraid of is that we need to drop down or that we are going to drop down to this level more around 12 cents and 12 and a half cents so I wanted to kind of explore in this video whether that's a likely scenario or not. Um, what's definitely going to happen is that what we just did is we take have taken a, a like we have had a bearish breakout uh, through 15 and a half cents. So what's probably going to happen is that we are going to drop down to 14 cents. Now, in general, the main thing is is if 14 cents breaks, if we break down below that, we'll take a break retest and we'll we'll drop down to 12 and 12 and a half cents. That's just what you should know in all in, in in all cases now is is this realistic yes it's realistic but that doesn't mean that it it, it is going to happen uh, we are going to drop down to 14 cents all right i'm fairly certain of that but we're also going to find support there now if from that 14 cents either due to technical reasons which is possible or fundamental reasons if we're able to actually get up to 16 cents again and break above that then I think, first of all, we can get to 17 cents. I don't think we'll, we can break that, but we can get there. Um, and then we'll drop down probably. But then I at least know that 14 cents is a strong enough support level to hold us for a longer period of time. And that significantly decreases the chances of us dropping down to 12 and 12 and a half cents. The thing is, is it's like we haven't touched 14 cents in a very long time. We are going to touch it. And it, like we need to get a very strong touch off of it if I want to be convinced that it's going to hold. Like, like if we just get a touch and we get up to 15 cents and then we start dropping back down again, then, I mean, we're probably going to break through that. Even though next week we got a lot of uh, fundamentals in the market, which could be very bullish for the market, then still um, we'll break through 14 cents first for Chili's. Um, so yeah, uh, some uh, very interesting and val valuable days coming up. Uh, you know my opinion, to me it all depends on, on what kind of touch we get off of 14 cents. So I will probably be back with another update um, uh, explaining if I think the touch was strong enough or not. Uh, but until that time, that's my take on chilies. So uh, thank you all for watching and listening. Take care and bye.